Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. Hope you're all doing well. Today for this episode, it is time to vote on our next overnight adventure. You guys have the opportunity to vote on the gear that we will use for our next trip. And our next trip is the budget overnighter. We're going to be using gear that's very budget friendly, very inexpensive, and just because it's inexpensive doesn't mean that it's not any good. For this trip here, we're going to be going with just common inexpensive items that you can find out and about for backpacking. You guys will have the opportunity to vote on the pack and the shelter and I will take care of everything else and that will really be based on where we go, what the conditions are, stuff like that. I will of course flash on the screen here what these items look like and the name of it and if you're curious you can go look it up, get more information about it. So let's go ahead and start with the backpacks. The first one is a Kelty external frame pack and these are more of the vintage variety. There's a number of different makes and models and you can find these typically on eBay. They're used and you can get them for about 30 to 40 to 50 bucks. Super duper budget friendly. Yes, these items aren't new, they're used, but the value is so good we had to include them in this. The next pack is the Teton Sports Scout 3400, which costs right at $65. Awesome pack indeed. Very budget friendly. The next pack is the North Face Terra 45 liter, which you can find for about $105. The next pack is, yet again, another Kelty pack, and this is the Kelty Yukon external frame pack, which you can find brand new for around $130. The next pack, the next option to vote on is the High Sierra Tech Series Titan 55 liter internal frame pack, which you can find for about 70 bucks brand new. And our last option as far as backpacks go is a military surplus option. It is the old fashioned, the loved Alice pack, large size, which you can find online for about 40 bucks. And that is used. Very good pack, no doubt about it. Let's step over to the shelter options. We have plenty of them. So let's go ahead and start here with the Marmot Titan, which is a two-person, three-season, which you can find for about 150 bucks. The next tent is the Marmot Limelight, two-person, which you can find for about 185. Yet another Marmot tent is the Marmot Ajax, two-person. It is about $138, really good price there. The next tent is a two-person tent from Mountain Smith, and is, that is the Morrison, which you can find brand new for about $130. Now we have the cheapest tent out of all of our shelters, and that's the Coleman Hooligan two-person, $53. Very good price, pretty good tent too. We also have the Eureka Solitaire one-person tent, which you can find for about $70. The next tent is the Kelty Salita two-person, which runs about 140 bucks. Our last tent is a military surplus item, and that is the Improved Combat Shelter. You guys have seen that before. You can buy those for about 150 bucks, and let me tell you, they are bomber. They're definitely heavy. And really, guys, that is one thing that should be touched upon on all these items here. When you go inexpensive, usually the weight goes up. So some of these tents rock five six pounds. That's typical of an inexpensive item, having a little bit more weight. Because usually when it comes to backpacking, if you're going for less weight, you're going for more high-tech materials, and the prices definitely go up. So guys, right there are your options to vote. You guys have the packs, you have the shelters. It is time to go camping. I can't wait to get out. I can't believe it's actually been this long since our last trip. But I've been doing a ton of day hikes, as you guys have seen. So guys, let's get outdoors. You guys have the opportunity to vote on the gear. So head on over to theoutdoorgearreview.com. You guys will find a link in the description box. On the right-hand side of the screen, you will find all of the voting options. Head over there. Vote now. Let's go camp. If anybody has any questions for me, please feel free. Drop me a line. Let me know. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. All that good stuff. I'll definitely see you all around. Cheers, my friends. Take care.